Hi, I'm Alois Rosario. Welcome to the Masterclass on Fast Pushing. Firstly, let's look at the technique that you use for the fast push. It's important to keep it very similar to your short push, otherwise you're going to give the other person too much time to be ready for the long fast push. So we need a short backswing pre preparation and then get your wrist coming through very fast so that you can generate lots of speed to get that ball long and fast. Still try to maintain a good brushing contact because that's how you're going to generate a lot of backspin. Again that will make it harder for your opponent to be able to lift that long fast push. So for the contact get right underneath it and flick underneath the ball to generate lots of backspin and lots of speed with your contact. It's important to keep the preparation the same for the short and the long push. So small backswing and then push it fast and long. That way you're not giving your opponent any time to see the long push coming. Short and then long. So why would we ever want to push the ball long? We've always talked to you about keeping the ball short so that your opponent can't attack. It's important sometimes to push the ball long if your opponent is staying close to the net and is just controlling that short play. In that situation then you can throw that ball long at them just to get them off balance so that they're not ready for the short ball. The other important area is if the other person is really good at playing short and you're just not able to beat them at that game then it's important to maybe after one short push to get that ball long and get a different type of game happening. Placement of the long push is important. If you place the ball into the middle area of the table there that's going to give your opponent too much time and it's going to be easy for them to attack that ball. What I'm going to try and do is get that push fast but also really deep into the corner of the table or at the edge of the table so that it's more difficult for my part opponent to come back in time and make the effective attack. Effective long pushing is all about the element of surprise. Without the element of surprise it becomes an easy ball for your opponent to attack. You've got to remember keep them off balance and catch them by surprise and then your fast push can be really effective.